this is uh, Ben Cohen here, Wing Chun VC, and we're doing uh, tutorial uh, number 11. So today this is in response to um, Luke, Luke's question. So Luke, one of my students, um, uh, emailed me with a question about Wang Kang, Wang Kang Lung, who is a um, student of Wang Shang Lung as well. He's another one of um, Philip Bear's uh, contemporaries. Um, who, who trained extensively with Wang Chang Lung. So I've been aware of Wang, Kang, Wang Kam Lung's um, Wing Chun for quite some time, actually. Uh, so it was quite interesting to have Luke as a student who'd studied under um, his method. Uh, I don't know if he studied directly with him or studied under his, studied with his method. Um, so I'm going to take a look at some of Wang Kang Lung's stuff and I'm going to be give some um, honest feedback as to what I think, how, you know, what I think he's doing well, what I think he's not doing well what i like what i don't like um and again you know just to make it clear i've got a lot of i i i have liked wang kong leng's uh, wing chun ever since i've seen it you, you know many many years ago i saw I, i've been aware of this guy and I've, I've always thought he had a high level of skill um doesn't mean to say he's infallible uh, so you know um i i can tell you uh, so i've got three videos to choose from um, that Luke sent me. I'm going to go through each one of them. So here, this is um, Wang Kam Lung doing some chi sao with a student. Um, so we'll have a quick look at that. It's quite short. Um, so I'll just play the whole thing, and I won't say too much. And uh, it's only a minute long, so we can watch it and then and then go over it. Okay, so that's the end of the video. So I'll take you through that a little bit. I'll just replay it here. Um, I'll tell you what I like and what I do like. Uh, so we'll go to the to the first bit of it. Okay, so from this uh, this part of it, we can look at the guy that you know. Um, one of the things you want to look at when you're looking at chi sao, when you're analysing chi sao or any fighting system, is you want to look at you don't necessarily look, want to look at the demonstrator. You want to look at the person being demonstrated on. How much resistance are they giving the other person? So from this uh, clip, the big guy that he's training with isn't giving him a huge amount of resistance. Um, so he's being kind of thrown around here, but he, he's not, he's just standing, he's kind of standing in a squatted stance and rolling his hands. Um, so therefore, you know, one can can kind of tee off on him and uh, look very, very good when he does that. And he does look good, you know, and I don't want to, again, I don't want to kind of detract from how good one can Lung clearly is. I mean, he's very, very coordinated. Uh, you can see that he, um, much like Philip Baring we did in the last video, he has his um, ability to use two hands at the same time is, is, is excellent. Um, so, you know, you can, from here again, this is another person that he's doing chi sao with, and this other person is not giving him any pressure. Um, this here is, um, you know, this is, it's a demonstration, the guy's been quite compliant, um, but you can kind of see, uh, you can kind of see it pretty you can get a good kind of sense of how how good how effective Wang Kam Lung would be in a combat situation he would be effective I think um the way that he's doing a we'll go back to that we're here right so he's doing like a as the punch comes in he's he's doing kind of like a outside he's like I can't really I don't know exactly what he's doing there but um he's 
cre clearly creating a lot of force against the guy's arm when he's blocking it. And uh, he's rebounding off of it and doing a neck, a neck strike and a, a followed by a punch. So I quite like that. I think that's good. Shows that he's done a lot of chi sao. This is a lot of chi sao. Th those are, you know, you get that kind of sensitivity from chi sao training and actually people come punching you hard. So it looks pretty good. Again, I, I think the, the bigger guy was being quite compliant there. So again, we can't really tell a huge amount other than one coming on. definitely looks good. Uh, more cheese out here. The other guy's structure, if you can see the mouse here, the other guy's structure is really not good. Um, his hips are going back. He's in a squatting position. His shoulders are forward, so his elbows are not attached to his hips. So he can't generate any forward pressure or leverage. Um, and he's using shoulders, so he's completely off balance here. Um, and Juan Cumberland looks great. Uh, very fast, very coordinated. Um, here we get a little bit of forward pressure from the bigger guy. The bigger guy is squatting down. I think this is what I don't really like so much. I don't see why he's squatting down like this so much. He doesn't need to use, um, you know, if he straightened up he could and, and learned how to root from the ground, he'd be able to generate a lot more pressure. Um, but he's kind of going down to Wankam Lung's height and not still not putting an immense amount of forward pressure on. So Wankam Lung again looks really good here. And he is good, you know, you can he, he knows he knows what he's doing. He's clearly done a lot of cheese out with pressure and he's been in some fights, you know, like you you can kind of tell. Um very fast, very coordinated, um, just can spot the gaps in pressure that he sees. So yeah, you know, good. Um not again i'd like to see his students coming at him with more pressure but um you know uh thus far pretty good okay let's go to the second video all right so this is some more g cell so let's turn the volume down we'll just watch the whole thing it's only 24 seconds Sorry, it kind of cut out there. We keep, we keep watching. So, let's have a look at that again. Um, very, you know, again, like I've got no issue whatsoever with one kind of um, uh, hand coordination. Really, really good. He's doing um, lap style punch there, which is. Uh, you know he's just extremely coordinated um again it's very difficult to say that much when the other guy here the guy in the yellow yellow and black t-shirt is literally just rolling his arms and not providing any forward pressure so it's hard to say how much of it this would work against a resisting opponent i think it would be you know it would probably be he'd do well when coming along would do well because of his how his elbows are in very tight when he does G-Sal. If you look at where Wang Kam Lung's elbows are, his elbows are in. He's protecting his center line quite well. He's quite well sort of planted on the floor. He's making more of a base than anything else. So he's not rooting really per se. He's making more of a base. Bit of a wide stance, bent legs. That's the Wang Zhang Lung style, which I don't necessarily... It's not what I recommend myself, but... I'm not saying it's not effective. I think it is effective. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think, you know, he could probably deal with the, with, with some forward forward pressure. Okay, let's look at the next one. This is Wang Kam Lung. I've fast-forwarded a little bit here so you can kind of see um, uh, how he teaches punching. So I like that. He's testing the heaviness of the elbow, which we talk about a lot in class. Yeah, this is good. Bent arm. And what, this is the one thing I really do like about Wang Kam Lung is his punching. His punching technique is really... You can just see he, he knows what he's doing. So look, he's demonstrating here um, uh, what happens when the shoulders come up. So yeah, so this... 
I can't even really hear what the translator is saying, but it's really clear what he's saying. Don't your shoulders cannot be up, your shoulders cannot come off the body, and they cannot be tight. You get no power. So that, yeah, that's very. That's a, see, I like that. Watch. That's a very good Wing Chun punch. It's exactly kind of how we do it. Although he's not emphasizing so much the rooting on the floor that I can tell. Uh, but he is what he's talking about here is the is the pulling pulling the shoulder down, keeping the elbow heavy, and extending through the target there. So yeah, when he when he's demonstrating what not to do, when he pulls his shoulder back here, this is how look. I mean, you can just see from this position here, right? That that the, even though the arm is bent, the shoulder is up. Um, so you're not going to be able to create any forward pressure because all that pr the pressure going through the fist into the target is going to rebound back into his shoulder and force him off balance. So if the shoulder is relaxed and, and pinned down to the pinned onto the body, um, you don't get that rebound, right? It, 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 it's you can transfer that pressure back down through the body into the root or into the legs. In 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 Wang Kam Lung um, case and the Wang Chan Lung guys, when they punch that punch, um, if if the shoulder is in the correct position, in the correct position, the pressure from the punch will be absorbed into the legs, which is we try to avoid that. We try to put that pressure down into the heel, um, so that you don't even doesn't even go into the muscle. But it's better in the legs than in the shoulder because your legs obviously are a lot stronger. So the guy in the blue shirt punching. Is is you know yeah it's not too bad. It's, it's kind of what in, look, I mean look, you can see this is why I think one can look at look at his automatic elbow position. It's really good, really really good. Um, his heavy elbow. Uh, we talk a lot about this heavy elbow. Look, he's covering his center line. His elbows are in position. This is excellent stuff. His, his posture is good as well. He has good straight back. Um, yeah, so look, okay, what he's doing now, now his elbow's out of position, right? You can take can, the, the other guy in the blue shirt can actually take because his elbow is in. He's going to take advantage of that. Keep the elbow in and the shoulder down. There you go. Look exactly exactly what Wang Kangnam is doing there. Elbow in, shoulder down. And then when someone punches you, you can basically, if they're not doing that, you can take the center line and you can, you can thread the needle as we, we talked about. He, the person who controls the, the, the elbow uh, controls the fight. So if you can control your own elbow, which means keeping it in and down, then you're in, you're in good shape. Okay, that's that's the end of that video. Uh, so I hope um, Luke, I hope I answered the questions that Luke um, Luke used to ask, ask me for an analysis, and they, that that's my analysis. That's what I think. Um, you know, overall, I think that Wang Kam Lung is is excellent. I really like his Wing Chun. Um, however, I would like to see him demonstrating against i would like to see some demonstrations against people who are genuinely resisting because thus far we, there hasn't been much i mean this doesn't really tell you anything about whether he's any good or not um it just tells you that in the demonstration videos the guys are not um resisting it's not to, mean to say that he couldn't handle pressure but i just can't i can't sign off on it given the videos that i've seen thus far and now you see that with a lot of wing chun uh, videos you, you kind of sense that they don't um, they haven't uh, de you can tell some who have never dealt with any pressure you can kind of tell that Wang Kam Lung has dealt with pressure because of the way that his how how good his movement is and how well he keeps his elbow in and his shoulders down you only actually develop that that kind of posture and uh, and, and um, instinctive uh, uh, reaction if you've dealt with pressure so one come clearly has dealt with pressure um it's not about how much you practice forms it's how much you do how much live practice you have how much live pressure you have so one come definitely had a lot 
Um, you know, that that being said, you know, again, I, I'd like to see some more demonstration with him dealing with big significant pressure. Um, anyway, so until next time, um, we'll, we'll call it a day there. We'll, and um, yeah, please leave comments and um, uh, send me a message if you have any questions. And uh, I'll see you again here on the YouTube channel soon.